Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to create a very simple horizontal navigation menu that's centered in the page. Um, just had a question from a, a, a viewer, and they were having trouble getting these uh, this horizontal arrangement. They were using Float, and I have an older video using Float, but let's do something a little different. So I've got a blank page set up here. I've already got a header up at the top. Let's head over to the HTML, and after the header, I'm going to create a nav, and this part's going to be a little bit weird, but I'm just going to have, I think, let's just do six hyperlinks. Okay, so I've got six hyperlinks in here, and let me just go ahead and throw in some uh, dummy hashtags and basic text. There we go. So because I'm not doing any block elements, there's no unordered list, no list items and things like that. It's just a series of anchor tags which are in line and will naturally want to be side by side. Now it's not going to look like much on the web page, but you can see they are default horizontal oriented. However, we want to get these centered on the page. So let's move up to the styling here. And first, I'm going to style my nav element so that we can easily see it. I'll do a background color. It's uh, yellow green, and let's give it a min height of um, 50 pixels. Technically, I could do a static height because this is horizontal menu, shouldn't be getting any taller, but that's pretty good. And now we're going to see that that, there we go, that uh, nav is right there underneath the header. Looks pretty good. Oh, by the way, I do have a generic reset rule already created uh, just before my header. Okay, so now for those anchor tags to get them centered, this part's going to be super easy. Inline elements can be styled, for the most part, like text. So if I went to this nav and I did a text align center on there, then the text inside is going to be centered. All right, that works out pretty well. I could also do something like this. Line height of about 50 pixels, which is the height of this nav, and that's going to kind of even give me some vertical centering, or at least the illusion of vertical centering right there. So I'm pretty happy with that. So now I just want to beef up these anchor tags a bit so that they look a little bit more like a nav menu. And for that, I'm going to style with a descendant selector the anchors within the nav. And let's see, I'm going to give them a, uh, how, how about a little outline? How's that going to look? Two pixels solid, and let's just do a dark color. Okay, we can see that they've got those little outlines on there, like borders. And I'm going to do some padding on them. I'll do padding of 8 pixels top and bottom, 16 pixels left and right. It's going to make them a little bit bigger. And then, of course, we can do things like font size. How about um, 1.5 M's while I'm here? Text decoration none. Gets rid of the underline. So those are looking a little bit bigger, a little bit chunkier, things like that. Font family Verdana, sounds good. And let's do a little hover action. Nav A colon hover. And we'll just change the background color to FFC, which is a light shade of yellow. So now when I hover over those, it seems kind of like they're buttons in a way, right? And if you want to keep those borders on there, but just give them a little bit more space, well, we can do that, I think. Margin zero, top and bottom. Four pixels left and right. A little bit of spacing, yeah, maybe four pixels all around would look good. I'll do four pixels top and bottom. Now I'm not getting my margin on the top of those anchors. That's a bummer. Easy fix though. In fact, even if I didn't have that zero pixel, even if that was back to zero, what I might do is head back to my nav and do uh, padding four pixels top and bottom, zero pixels left and right. So padding on the nav, padding on the parent, can give you that same illusion as margin on the element itself. And there we go. So there's our horizontal navigation menu um, centered within the space. Looks pretty good to me. The HTML is very simple. Just a series of anchor tags within a set of nav tags. Didn't have to use nav, by the way. Could have used a bunch of other elements, div, um, section, but nav is appropriate for this kind of thing. And of course, the CSS is pretty simple too. The nav is basically getting that text aligned center declaration. And since the anchors are like text, they get centered. And of course, then we just style the anchors with some padding so that they look like chunky little buttons. Nice little side effect of this too is if one of my menu items is longer than the others, then it'll just look wider on screen than the others. Thanks for hanging out with me.